Hi guys, um, welcome to the second part of this JavaScript templating tutorial um, series. All right, so in this um, video, we're going to be looking at exactly what is, we're going to be looking at the parts of the template. So exactly what is templating, all right? So if you remember the last time I did told you templating is when you repeat a bunch of stuff over a page. So you sort of like write a one um, template for it and then you give it a list and it just repeats that template for you over and over depending on how many items are on the list, all right? So let's go in our um, developer console here in Firefox and have a look at what we have in this page. So if you notice this item that I'm highlighting here is one contact and this second one is another contact. And then this third one over here that's being highlighted is another contact. So what do all of these have in common? They all have the same templates, all right? Let me just show you quickly what I mean. I'll open this up and open this one up. If you notice this, um, contact here that's being highlighted has an upper um, a class with a div with an upper class a class of upper and has a not a div with a class of lower this second contact also has the same so basically we just want to take a function and just give it one contact template and say repeat that template for all the contacts in the list all right so how we start with that is we're going to just go over here and just copy this HTML all right and then go back in brackets and just paste that HTML over here. All right. So basically templates, how it works is you wrap a, a template around, um, in, you put it inside a JavaScript. So basically we're going to say script and then let's copy this closing JavaScript part here and then paste it just at the end of the template. All right. And then we just format this a little bit. All right. So basically, a template, as I said, you wrap it inside a JavaScript um, part. So we have to give it a type of, since we're going to be using something called underscore, it expects the template type to be text slash template. Normally, JavaScript, you give it type text slash script, but when you're dealing with templates, you have to get, especially not all templates, but with this template engine we're going to be using, you have to give it a type of text slash template, okay? All right. And the next, in order for the JavaScript to be able to target the template, you have to give it an ID. And the ID we're going to give it is called contact template. And as usual, this one, you can name it anything, but let's just name it contact template for now, all right? So if you notice this um, HTML that we have inside here, which is a template for a single contact, I mean, the items, the values here for the source and the uh, sorry address of the contact as well they're all hard-coded so we do not want that so inside of our um json that we'll be looking at in a moment we want that to um be dynamically populated and the way that happens is you're going to um call uh, an item inside your J json function so before we actually do that let's just loop over this um this template that we have over here and after we looked at the JSON in the next video we're going to change these values over here that is the source and the address and the mail uh, values so that they will be populated including the number from what's coming in through the JSON and using underscore templating how you loop over a template is you start it with open bracket and then the this item over here then you say underscore dot each. So if you notice jQuery, when you wanna use jQuery, you use the dollar sign. But for underscore, you actually literally type in underscore. And it has a function called each. And the first parameter you pass it is, is the list that you want to loop over. So our list will be called contacts. So this is a function, but we're going to call it in a moment. And when you pass it contacts, the second parameter that you pass it is actually a function. And that function will actually hold through each of the loop iterations will hold one item inside the contact. So first you pass it a list, then you pass it a function. And this contact here will hold each of the items in the contacts, all right? So open bracket and then we come over here. Since we are in HTML, we have to open this so we can be in um, underscore mode. And then we close it with the sign and then the closing bracket and over here as well we do the same so let me highlight these two just to show you what's happening so in here we are in um, underscore mode 
that is JavaScript mode. Here as well, we are in JavaScript mode. So underscore understands anything inside the HTML page that is wrapped around this closing and opening. All right. So in here, we're in JavaScript. When we come down here, we are in HTML. And inside of here, we are in JavaScript as well. So if you remember PHP opening and closing tag, just think of it as something like that. So since we open a bracket in JavaScript here, we have to close it here as well. And then put a bracket here. All right. Cool. So now if we call, if we target this template here using the ID and then we pass it a list, it will loop through this the li um, list and then populate this template how many number of times. If we have like five items in the list, it will loop through the list five times. Okay. All right, guys. So that's a look at the JavaScript um, template that we'll be using to target using underscore. And in the next video, we'll actually have a look at the list that we'll be passing to this function, and then we'll actually populate the values inside the function. All right, guys. So that we have. It. There we have it. And thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video where we'll be having a look at JSON and understand actually what JSON is. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.